It's our second annual security event. We're thrilled to have you here. Incredibly excited to bring together the influencers and leaders working in cyber defence and security. We've got delegates from 15 countries, including Australia, Canada, Switzerland and Japan. For a second time, you're going to hear firsthand from individuals who are spearheading the future trends in what is obviously a crucial industry. Trust has two enemies, not one. Bad character and poor information. People say, does convenience trump trust? Or does price trump trust? And I think initially that is the case until people's trust is broken. So we've got a huge amount going on. Uh, we've got a, a main stage with a series of keynotes from people with like deep expertise in this world. We have an access stage. Our more intimate stage where we uh, have fireside chats. We speak to some of the main stage speakers in a more personal way. We have uh, startups pitching. We also have um, a great demonstration room where people are able to sort of get hands on with technology. What's fascinating to me is how much cyber is now just part of the daily narrative. Shared security and cooperation are essential to survival in the face of many enemies and many threats. And safety comes through community and individuals protecting the whole and not the one. I think we're already finding ourselves in a place where there's just a billion devices that no one knows how to update and secure. I think we're just going to find ourselves snowballing into that kind of cybersecurity mess until we start thinking about new solutions to these problems. It's not just about the technology, it's about the behaviour. And it's also about the way that we interact. Sometimes you attend events like this and it's very narrow or it's very trade orientated. I think the beauty of today's event is the variety and, and the breadth of speakers. The moment that you think that you are secure is actually the moment that you are more vulnerable. What people have to maybe take on board is that they just have to start assuming that they are under attack. That has to be the default position. 